And what you want to do is you want to shoot some stills in a time lapse format and then turn them into video. Uh, that, in fact, I, let me show you real quick. Here's a whole bunch of stills that I have of Charlotte, uh, North Carolina. And let me just kind of, I'll just kind of jump through and you can see there's a whole bunch of stills taken throughout the day. Just kind of zip through here. You kind of see as it gets darker through the evening. Uh, this is all the stuff that you can kind of see in, in tonight. So it's a bunch of stills. Now, mm -hmm. here's what you don't want to do. You do not want to select the first one, drag all the way down, hold down the shift key, select this one, um, and then select them all and hit open. Because what you're going to do is you're going to literally, in this case, open 125 individual Photoshop documents yeah. all at one time. Not good. No. And if you have like a 7, 8, 10 megapixel camera, you're going to crash. Oh, you're going to crash Photoshop in, in a heartbeat. So do not do that. That's what you're going to want to do. But instead, click off. Let's go back up there. Just click the very first image. And then down here, there's a little button called Image Sequence. And what Photoshop's going to do is it's going to immediately ask you, do you want to kind of put this into some kind of video frame rate? Do you want to make a video file? Yes, I do. Heck yeah. And you have a choice. You know, what frame rate do you want to use? In this case, let's just use 29.97, which is standard kind of mm -hmm. DV NTSC ratio. I'm going to click OK. And when I do, it's going to actually build for me um, this, this, all those 125, put them into a video file. Now, if you look over here, I have the little icon, little thumbnail. It looks like a film strip icon. I'm just going to hit the, I'm going to bring up, up here under Windows, I'm going to bring up my animation menu, and you'll see that you actually have a timeline now uh, inside mm. of Photoshop. I'm just going to hit the space bar to actually play. And what you're going to notice is that it's putting this little green line across here. It's actually rendering that into RAM. And in just a second, you're going to see that it's going to make, it's, slowly but surely, there it is, yeah. this gorgeous time-lapse video. And as awesome as that is, there's more. Because what you're actually looking at here, you're not just looking at just regular video. If I hit pause, we're looking at 66.7%. Let me go ahead and zoom that a little bit, and you'll see that we're looking so like at a... full HD ah. video. I can't even see it all. Look, I still have more to scroll here. So you can actually shoot the most gorgeous high definition video with your still camera because still cameras have more megapixel yeah. that they capture than video cameras. Even your most expensive 75,000 Varicam isn't going to capture as good as your as a great like, nice 10 megapixel uh, still digital S SLR. You can get gorgeous. So for a lot of photographers out there who want a whole new business, you know, selling royalty free time lapse video, they ha literally have a one click solution to do that, and it's gorgeous. Plus, you get all of the fantastic Photoshop tools to enhance your your photos to really color correct and yeah. get it just the way that you, you want. So that's an awesome thing for digital yeah, photographers. Yeah, very cool. Cool. Well, a uh, couple things. Mm -hmm. First off, I like it. Good. That means, since we do like it, that means you got to come back on the show. Oh, I will absolutely do that. There is so much information <laughs> that I can because give you guys. There's so many programs. I mean, After Effects and Premiere and just everything. There's so much stuff that we can do. And anything that takes the heat off of us is, is <laughs> right back on the show. I am so. happy to come back. We'll definitely and, do that. Uh, definitely. And if you do, uh, if you do enjoy seeing Rod, Rod is teaching at Photoshop World, right? I'm teaching three and, classes. Uh, and as well as being the director of the keynote. Right. And then finally, you got any place where people can find out more about you? Yes, my blog. It's dvconfidential.com. Dv Confidential.com is my how blog. stuff like that works. Out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cool, man. Well, thank you for coming thank on Thank you show. for having me on the show. And, Glad to be uh, here. we'll see you again soon. All right. Back to all the stuff that we do on the show regularly.